can you all see this crazy bald patch on my head? I'm about to tell you exactly what happened to me and how I solved this problem and how you can too. Hey Z stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, popularly known as Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. Today I'm sharing my ordeal with scalp fungus and the several ways in which I've completely eradicated this issue. It was easily one of the most terrifying experiences I've had in this my 12 plus years natural hair journey. In spite of the trauma, I've managed to learn a lot of key lessons and please watch the entire video because each part of this story is very important if you're dealing with this kind of issue as well. Not only do I tell you all what happened to me, I make sure to break down the very key and potent ways in which I solved this problem as well as how I ensure that my scalp is healthy going forward. I also have a special announcement that's going to happen at some point during the video and it will change your hair completely by making it thicker, accelerating your growth, and streamlining your natural hair journey. I'm so excited to share this with you all. I can't wait to see you all using this for yourselves and I can't wait to hear the feedback. So stay tuned to find out what it is. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. But of course, please be sure to thumbs up, let you two know that you enjoy this type of video. Comment down below, let me know what you think it is that I'll be announcing. Be sure to share this video with your friends and your loved ones, especially those who are dealing with similar issues and last but never ever can be least. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on all your notifications so you know exactly when I post a new video. Be sure also to watch all the ads and don't skip them so your girl can collect this coins and bring you all more premium content because premium content comes with a premium price. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into this video. If you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at fxzara, E-F-I-K-Z-A-R-A. I post a lot of my photography there and of course behind the scenes on how I get my iconic imagery. Be sure to also follow me on Twitter at fxzara so you can chat to me and ask me all the questions your heart desires. I try to answer my DMs as much as possible and any tweets I reply to, so that's the best place to reach me. About eight months ago, in October, I noticed the most frightening thing I've ever noticed in my hair journey. I was balding towards the center and left center of my head. Even my middle part, which is notoriously tiny, was much thinner. Now let's start at the beginning of this very frightening story. That particular day, I was slated to film a video for As I Am Africa. All I had to do was use their products and demonstrate their usage throughout the week, as well as a demonstration of my full wash day. Now I filmed the video backwards and ended up filming my hair throughout the week and then washing my hair on the final day. So that was what I was going to do that particular day. Now, I thought this would be no different from any other wash day, but your girl was sorely mistaken. Now, in spite of the trauma that I experienced on this particular day, that video was beautifully filmed, beautifully produced. So feel free to check it out in the top right corner. I'm going to link it for you all. You can actually see my hair live and direct. I don't know that you can see my scalp, but you can try and look for it and let me know if you see anything out of control. <laughs> now that short digression aside, after rinsing out the product, my scalp was literally on fire. Now before I continue describing how my scalp felt, I just want to give you all this brief disclaimer. I'm in no way blaming this on the As I Am product. I'm merely highlighting the fact that I observed this when I happened to be washing my hair with their products, which is just an unfortunate coincidence. Now moving on, my scalp was so itchy, bro, sis. Gender non-conforming sibling. Like my scalp was itchy in a way it had never been before and I simply could not stop scratching it. And no matter how much I scratched it, the itch was simply not being satisfied. It also felt strangely smooth, a bit raw. And the most frightening thing for me was that I could not feel any hair there. Now I immediately made videos and took photos so I could see exactly what was occurring up there because of course I can't see the top of my head without that kind of aid. And what I saw absolutely shocked and horrified me. The first thing I did was call my family because I was terrified. And when they got back from where they had gone to, the first thing we started doing was looking up herbal remedies. In our house, on our compound, we have dogo yarrow, which is neem leaf 
growing. Now I knew and I've always known that neem is a traditional remedy for scalp ailments, especially fungus. And I had an aching feeling that this could be some sort of fungal issue. So the first thing we got, we got some neem together. We put it in water, hot water, steeped it, started rubbing the plant on my scalp. We were just trying to like soothe this issue as quickly as possible. Thank God for modern medicine and other solutions because that's exactly where we were headed next. Now, as I was crying and everyone was trying to help me solve this issue, I remembered that in 2015, when I had started my master's program, I experienced something very, very similar to what I was experiencing now. Now, it was not on the scale of this, but I remembered then that it was indeed a fungal infection. When I remembered that particular experience, everything started to become clear. It was previously quite nebulous. I was like, what in the heck is going on? But recalling that made everything just crystal clear. Now my hair is extremely thick. You can barely see my scalp when my hair is free. In fact, you really can't see my scalp when my hair is free unless I part my hair. And I can't even reach my scalp effectively when my hair is free. So I already knew, okay, if I'm going to handle this issue, I need to get braids. So that's exactly what happened. I got braids with my natural hair the next day, which you all can see in this picture here. Then I went to the pharmacy because I can't shout. Now upon reaching the pharmacy, it was time for me to detail exactly what was happening to me. Now there's something called central centrifugal cicatricial alopecia which is characterized by a scarring alopecia that originates towards the crown. Now this was very easy to rule out because I was experiencing a lot of symptoms that had absolutely nothing to do with that particular ailment. Now my symptoms were an extremely itchy scalp that refused to be satisfied. I also experienced hair loss at the site aka balding. My skin was also whiter. Now it was not oozing, but it looked really weird and also felt very strange to the touch. I also experienced extreme irritation, especially when wet. And my family members told me that I had little red bumps going on on my scalp. Now to be very candid, I did not see my primary care physician, y'all. So I don't actually know exactly what fungus was ailing me. He was out of the country, so I consulted him via the internet. And ultimately what the pharmacist prescribed is exactly what he prescribed. Now in Nigeria, pharmacists are actually trained to understand what medications work for what diseases, what symptoms, what ailments, etc., etc., because a lot of people simply cannot afford adequate medical care. Literally, the minimum wage in this country cannot cover the cost of paying a physician. Minimum wage is like less than $100. So just imagine Imagine trying to pay a physician one to two hundred dollars for a doctor's visit when you make less than a hundred dollars a month. Now the pharmacist at my local pharmacy, Farm Kenny, thanks girl, shout out to you, heard my symptoms, saw my scalp, and immediately knew what was going on. She also said that yes, this is a fungal infection, sis. We need to get this sorted right away. Before we get into exactly what I did to solve this particular problem, I want to talk to you all about what I feel may have caused it. Now, a few weeks before I noticed this had happened to my scalp, I actually was in a commercial. Now, during the commercial, there was a hairstylist on board. And even though like the hairstylists were super cool, I did observe that some of the tools they were using were obviously not the ones I gave them. And I can't be sure of how well they were cleaned. Now that coupled with the fact that my scalp was under a lot of stress during that period leads me to believe that the increased tension and possible mini lacerations, as well as the use of tools that I don't normally use on my hair might have exposed my scalp to fungus. Now let's couple that with the fact that right after that commercial, I went on a trip to Obudu, which is a story for another day. Now, if you want to hear that story, please drop some orange emojis down below. That was a pretty crazy experience. My people will tell you about that. That digression aside, I went to Obudu and I did not have a chance to properly cleanse my scalp and my hair. And then on top of that, my scalp was wet for extended periods of time, which is something I already know not to do. When everything is combined, it's really just a recipe for disaster. And let's just say I really saw the negative effects of all of those things on my hair in a very dramatic way. Now, the primary way I solve this issue, my goodness, is by developing a series of recipes that changed my scalp and my hair for the better. Now, my hair obviously is in this style. This is all my hair, no extensions. 
Now a lot of people assume because of how thick it is that it's not my hair, but it is. And the recipes that healed my scalp, as well as some other key recipes, are the reason why my hair and my scalp are thriving today. Now, thankfully, I have all these recipes in a book which I have for sale for you all. This is my first digital product. And if you buy it now, you can get it for $15. It's available for pre-order. When it goes on sale for real, which will be on July 7th, it will be $20. If you purchase it now, you also can get another book of mine for free. Now I'm really excited to bring this to you because I've been working on it for more than a year now. All these recipes are recipes that I've tried and tested, recipes that work exceptionally well for my hair, and recipes that have completely changed my hair. My hair is so thick, it's so healthy, and my scalp is thriving. Now the link to purchase this book for pre-order is going to be included in the description box down below. And I'm also going to put it on the screen here. It's available in my Selfie store. So you guys, please be sure to pre-order this book before it's too late, $15. And as soon as it's released, you'll be the first to get it in your inbox. And yeah, it's just gonna be good times. I'm so excited to bring this to you all. It would mean so much to me if you shared this with me. I've worked so hard on it. And the recipes in here have completely revolutionized my life. Beyond my recipes, of course, I I had to treat this issue with ketoconazole, which is a very potent antifungal. Now I used Nizoral shampoo, I used topical Nizoral, which is the cream aside from the shampoo, and then I also took an oral antifungal, which was still ketoconazole. Now, like I said previously, I put my hair in braids with just my natural hair for around four to five weeks to ensure that I could reach my scalp properly. The pharmacist and my doctor told me I had to take the oral ketoconazole for 30 days. I also had to apply the cream to my scalp three times daily and wash my hair with the shampoo, I believe once a day. But of course, because of the nature of natural hair, I could not be washing my hair with shampoo once a day. So I had to actually modify that and do it about three times a week. But I made sure that I was very consistent with the cream and the oral antifungal. I did not miss a beat. I did not miss a moment. I did not miss a single day. So my hair routine during that period looks like this. I would shampoo my hair while really focusing on my scalp and I would leave the product on my scalp, the Nizarel, for 10 to 15 minutes. After that, I would rinse and condition only my hair. I was very careful not to get any conditioner on my scalp. Following that, I would spray my scalp with the Sulfur 8 spray, which you all can find linked in the description box down below. I would apply the Nizarel cream, which I'm going to try and link in the description box down below along with the shampoo. And I would apply my special grease mix, which I have a video for, and I'm going to actually link that right here in the top right corner so that you all can view it in a separate window after you're viewing this video, of course. Now I use this grease till today and I make it as often as I need to. It's easily one of the biggest game changers in my routine and one of the key recipes in my recipe book. I also have other variants of this grease in my recipe book, so make sure that you purchase it so you don't miss out, y'all. Now on days I would not actually shampoo my hair, I would make sure I kept up with the cream, of course, the Nizarel cream, and I would use my hair oil so I wouldn't have too much buildup. Now I also have a video for my hair oil, which I'm going to link in the top right corner, but it's also included in my recipe book. And the version in my recipe book is more potent. So make sure you all check that out. Again, be sure to purchase while it's only $15 so that you don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. Now after that month of really rigorous care, I did notice that the fungus was pretty much gone. Not even pretty much, it was eradicated. Like, who am I kidding? 30 days is more than enough time to solve a fungal issue. And I went back and consulted the pharmacist and after her examination, she was certain I didn't need to continue use. I, however, did make sure I still use the shampoo and use the topical antifungal, as well as incorporating some herbal remedies, which will be included in my recipe book. Now these remedies are what really completely changed the game for my scalp health because my hair is thick, long, luscious in a way it never has. So where are we today? My hair is significantly improved. The spot is almost completely healed. Now, hairdressers would say it's completely healed, but I feel that it could be just a little bit fuller and then I'll be totally happy with where it's at. Currently, I never ever allow my scalp to be wet for long periods of time. As soon as I finish washing it, I'm immediately focusing on making sure it's nice and dry and make sure that plenty of air touches it. I now do a lot of styles that allow air to touch my scalp. 
So I don't wear my hair out very often. I do braids, twists, and a lot of other styles with my natural hair. This is a great example of the kind of style that I'm more likely to do now so that I can reach every part of my scalp very, very well. I still use my Nizarel on my wash day to keep my scalp healthy and happy. My scalp has always been sensitive, so I know I need to take extra precautions to ensure that my scalp environment is nice and healthy, is well balanced, the pH is good to go. I shampoo regularly and I make sure I do the herbal treatments that are referenced in my recipe book, which again you all can purchase via the link down below. I'm also going to put the link right here. Now I have a video all about scalp care, which I will link in the top right corner so that you all can view it again in another window after you finish viewing this video. Now adhering to the principles in that particular video has helped me ensure that my scalp is extremely healthy. My scalp is so happy now and I'm really happy with how far it's come. The principles in that video have also made it possible for me to ensure that this will never ever, can never ever repeat itself in any lifetime ever again. Hey my Z stars, so before we move on I have a few questions for you all. Have you ever struggled with a moderate to severe scalp condition? And if so, will you tell us the story? Have you ever had scalp fungus? Have you ever had to take oral medication to cure a scalp issue? Apparently there's a plant in this Nigeria that has the ability to cure fungal infections on the skin. Do you know what it is? Let me know down below. What did you learn from the video? Let me know in the comment section down below. So y'all, that's pretty much the whole video. Thank you so much. Drop a blue emoji if you've made it this far. Now, of course, this was a super unpleasant experience, but I've learned so much. And I'm glad that at least this negative experience has made it possible for me to help you all and tell you all how to avoid this kind of thing in your own lives. It doesn't have to be like this. There's no reason to go through this type of thing. And please be sure you're caring for your scalp as much as, if not more than you're caring for your hair. It's extremely important. Anyway, with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to check out my recipe book and the other books I will have in my store very soon. Please also be sure to thumbs up this video, comment down below, let me know what you learned, let me know what you've been enduring, let me know what you're excited about, let me know what you wanna see from me. Please be sure to share this video with your friends and your loved ones, and last but never ever least, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications. Thank you so much, I love you all so much, and I'll see you in my next video.